All right, David has sent breakfast from California. Yeah, kind of cool, but I'm kind of irritated because he put this fancy lock on here. Um, yeah, this is, it spins freely like this, and there's obviously a top or a seal on it because none of this pours out, so I can't siphon it out that way, unfortunately. So we got to figure this out. Now, this is what it looks like. David did send a couple of things along with this. He sent a homemade key inside of this sealed envelope, and he also sent a second lock that he cut open. So I hope it doesn't come to it. We may have to pop this open to take a look, but let's see what we can figure out first. All right, so no keys, no keyways on this at all. On the bottom, these are, we have an outer sleeve and what appears to be an inner sleeve, and the inner sleeve has these two indentations. I don't know what those are for. There's no, no uh, seal or seam on this part. On the top of the lock, it has some type of electronic alarm, so it might go off when we start messing with it. I don't see any of those tiny little holes like it has something like an ultrasonic alarm, but it may have some kind of a alarm inside of there. Um, I would say normally, uh, were it not for these two holes, I would say you probably have to do something, and my guess would be magnetic, because and then push this button down in order to release this bottom sleeve to so it won't clamp on the top of the bottle. But because we got these two uh, square cutouts here, those almost have to be like a tensioner. So let's go with that for now. Uh, because I think it's magnetic, I have pulled out a couple of magnets. And uh, this guy is one of those really powerful little magnets. And when you drop him on there, right away he's uh, attracted to four different locations on the face of this lock. Right there, right there in the center. There's one off to the left, and there's one off to the right. So one, two, three, four attractions. Now. Notice that the magnet didn't change polarity. It's the same polarity no matter oops, no matter where you moved it to. So I'm thinking if we can get more of those little magnets and put them on here, uh, it'll probably release. Or I can use a giant magnet like this guy. And that's what I'm gonna try first. So I'm gonna try to overwhelm it. He asked me to use the lamello on it, but I don't think we need to because of the common orientation of all the magnets. I'm just going to lay that guy right there and if I can find a screwdriver, I'm going to take a screwdriver and see if I can turn this thing. I'm just going to push, I'm going to move my hand down so if it slips it doesn't stab me in the hand and that way we get no movement at all. Okay, so maybe my idea is completely wrong. Get off there. Get off there. Get back over there. All right, I'm going to try it the other way. Move out of the way. Ugh. A non-magnetic screwdriver would be ideal. Let me position this in the hole. Get in there. Like that. And then give it a little... And there we go. It did release. I felt it pop. And we are now into breakfast. That wasn't sealed. Huh. That, um, that is iced tea. That is not Southern Comfort. So anyway, what a dis one disappointment after another, guys. I'm going to find breakfast somewhere else. All right, um, let's go and take a look at the lock. Let's set him over there. I'll, I'll still drink iced tea. I don't have a problem with that. Um, so let's go ahead and pop this guy. See what we got here. Move that, put him right here. Let's first take a look at his homemade key, and then we'll take a look at the innards of this lock. Let's move the angle of that just a little bit so I don't have to hold it up in the air. All right, so. All right. Um, okay, so he's taken two magnets, and it looks like he's using these screws for the tension. Let me find that lock, and we'll try this guy again correctly. Get all the magnet stuff out of there. All right, so I'm gonna lock it. I'm gonna push that back. So that would be locked in the lock position. And then take the key and place it in those two notches. And I hear it clicking. Well, listen. You can hear something inside clicking. And then turn it, and then it pops open. So it works exactly like we thought, except instead of four manuals, it looked like there's only two. So let's figure out what that was. All right, so it looks like David cut it right here. 
and I just know stuff's going to come shooting out of here. All right, there's that inner sleeve that pinches down when it's compressed. So we have the compression ring. That's part of the outer sleeve right there. It might be restricting that a little bit, but when it pushes down, it, it compresses these and clamps that down on the neck of the bottle. I think what we really want to see is right here. Okay, you can see how the top of that links up with those slots like that. So that would release it. And, all right, I see one, what appears to be one magnet right there. And let's get him open. This is when things come shooting out. I know it. Oh, yep. Okay, so let's flip it back like that. So we have some kind of coil. And then we have two magnets, and I can real quick easily figure out where those go. One goes right there. And the other one went over the other side, spring-loaded. Um, they are hollow on the bottom. So it will sit on there like that. And like that. And then when you put metal near them, it'll influence. Uh, maybe not. These are non-magnetic. I mean, they are not magnets, but I would imagine they are magnetic. Otherwise, how would this thing work? Yeah, they are magnetic, but uh, they are not magnets. All right, so when this is up like that, you place the magnets there, it will pull that up into that little slot, just like that, to allow you to turn it. How cool is that? All right, I have no idea what this little coil is for. It's, it wasn't connected to anything. I don't know, that may be part of the alarm mechanism, but I don't see that that, that may be some very low power radio RF emitter. I mean, I would le you're led to believe that because it says electronic alarm, but I really don't see how this thing is powered. And I don't see how it would transmit, but you know, electronics is not my forte. Anyway, guys, there you go. The Alpha Bottle Lock with Electronic Alarm. Appreciate your time, guys. Stay safe, stay legal. Dave, thanks for sending this, and I'll save this for lunch. Yeah, thanks, guys.